This is Yohaim Gamble. We're back playing Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we just made it to the Aerith Sea, and now we're going to go ahead and head to the capital. And, um, yeah, this stopped right before a cutscene happened. Who are these guys? Are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? She's a lady? <gasps> Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. Melia, are you...? <gasps> Melia... I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Lady Melia, he says. Shulk, you thinking the same as me? Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> oh no, more birdmen! But these ones look mean! What the hell, birdmen? What the flying schnitzel? You douchebags, seriously. There's no need to walk with a shield. To us. I must report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. Okay, then hurry. Stop stopping every ten seconds, okay? Oh, okay, I guess I'm in charge of Melia. Alright then, oh, experience for Melia. Cool. Woo! Watch out, jump! You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness, Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance. When she stakes her claim to the throne. <laughs> I can see your butt crack, lady. Do you think it's uncomfortable having wings that huge on your head? You'd think it would be. Imperial Capital Aquilomobolf! So, we're like on the wings of the Bionis now? Bionis has wings? All right. Well, Imperial Palace. More experience. Six hundred and forty-eight G. Oh, okay. Even more experience. Sweet. Just give me a bucket of experience, please. Oh, okay. I wasn't being serious, but okay. I appreciate it, game. That makes my life a little easier. I don't have to do as much grinding. As much grinding. Jump. Jump. Yeah, it's gonna be. I can't believe I'm already here. I thought I'd, I thought it wouldn't be here quite yet. Oh, that's a cool picture of the Bionis and the Makonis. I thought I wouldn't be here quite yet, but that's pretty cool that I am. 
Maybe this LP won't take as long as I think it might. That sort that kind of looks like Dark Stark. Um, um, not Dark Stalkers, sorry. Watch too much Retro Play. Dark Stalkers! No, um, um, Dark Siders. <laughs> that looks like Dark Siders, not Dark Stalkers. I love that. I love that so much. That's such a great video. <sighs> Alright. Ooh! Oh my gosh, stairs made of light? I want. Me want! I want these stairs. They seem so cool. Of course. I, I guess the bad side is that you'd be able to see all the dirt on them immediately, and that's not good for our house, because my siblings are messy as all hell. So they'd be, like, dark black all the damn time. Dark blues are good, because it hides Melia the scum and filth. The first princess has returned, your majesty. Why do you all have Where elf your ears? Head? Your majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> well, those veteran knights must be really I shitty. It's difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve. But only for like 10 seconds, and we're gonna have like parties, like milkshakes and shit. It was their duty and honor Angel shakes. beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital? They have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes. For reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? Are you talking about Shulk so wearing true. those really short if shorts? Look, he can't true. help it. It's just a thing he does. Why? Shulk has there a concealed a weapon in his pantaloons. The generations ...of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a Chosen One. However, if the Chosen One is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Among High Entia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the Chosen One. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, your majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, to the bathroom, see ya. Dear sister. I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Brother. Why are you so tan? His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know, but it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing, and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. Your wings are clipping through I your clothes. To be crown princess. Yes, you are. 
The ministries of research and records are united in support of His Majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our Divine Emperor. But the wielder of the Monado, the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. Shulk is not a tool. He's yes, a dancer. Get it right. A servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the divine seer were to intervene, the seer could free Shulk. They uh, and everyone else. Look, Melia, I know you got a thing for Shulk, but shouldn't you be worried for everyone else as well? I don't know, maybe Shulk's under the knife more because he has the Monado and Ryan doesn't have the Monado, per se. Ryan has a giant lance with a shield, but... It ain't no Monado. It ain't no Monado auto. Idiot bird brains. What do we do? Well, they didn't a feed them birdseed. That's their weakness. Prison. They'll throw birdseed on the ground and then you can run away. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk, any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. You've only okay, known her for like, Shulk. what, a day? You win. I believe you. If you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. Oh my god, Ryan's suit is so funny. Not as funny as Shulk's, but funny. Alright, well, we're stuck in here. I'm gonna jump on this table. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Take that, you bird heads. You jump over chairs. Alright. Ryan, what you gotta say? Alright. What do you gotta say, Sharla? I, I couldn't tell you. What about you, Ricky? Okay, I'll take your word for it, Ricky. If you say so, I believe you. I, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, if they met, you know, us, they probably wouldn't... They'd probably be a little careful. Ricky, dance for me! You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Stand back. Oh, we know those shoes. It's Elvis. Alvis. Alvis? What are you doing here? I love the puffy stuff around this coat thing. His coat collar. I see. So hilarious. So that is why. And he has here. a key. Just like the Element 5 Ninja. I wonder if anyone's Isn't gonna get that okay? reference. Probably didn't not. Mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, That's she okay, is fine. though. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. Well, you sure, because mean... your bod is just so sexy, they want to yes. keep you for the Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Many years? Yeah, when you say many years, that's not quite like a the millennium. Thing to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of her highness treated as criminals now. Damn no. right. Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests. Yeah, birds. Of the family. We're Sir, guests. I am required to report to his majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around. So demands you do the high Inthia chicken dance leisure. immediately. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Cool. Farewell. That's good. That means I can do training and Hold side on, missions. I need to ask you. Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. I bet Shulk just wanted to know where he bought his pants. <laughs> like, you know, Elvis probably Elvis probably thinks it's something deep, like something about the Monado or what's the meaning of life. Nope, Shulk just wants to know where he bought those snazzy pants. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. 
I'm bored of this stuffy room. This room's not that stuffy. It's rather I huge. It's, big, it's almost bigger than. It almost looks like it's bigger than my house. Well, Ricky maybe not that big, but I have a pretty good. We have a pretty good size house. Wait, what? What's going on? What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? I don't know where what Elvis happened? goes. Why are you asking me? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea, but the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that with Ricky your fist, Ryan? Help. Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course, we're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Here upon Ricky is here to save the day. Damn straight. It is most appreciated. Ricky and his beanie hack hat are the most ultimate thing in the universe. And bless that giant dinosaur thing on his back. Anyways, I will change the party real quick. I'm not going to have Shulk here. I think... Uh, yeah, we'll have Dumb... We'll have Ryan out. Why not? Ryan could use some action. Plus, you know, he's got some pretty strong text. Story quest. Save something that I didn't even bother to read because I'm too hardcore. Alright, now, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and go to the shop here because we should be able to buy some new stuff. And, um, I'm going to leave this area just to make sure that there's no cutscene that activates when I try and leave to do some, um, level grinding and to do some item grabbage. Just so that doesn't happen. Alright, oh. R R baby sister trying to get in, but I blocked the door. Yes. All right. Okay, can do that. Oh my gosh, now she's banging on the door. Three. Okay, hopefully I don't do kill those guys when off screen. Oh, got more. Okay, so this guy just wants you to kill a ton of monsters. These might be missions I accidentally do off screen. But if I do, I will definitely show you where they are, just so you guys know. So, oh my gosh, she... Yeah. Oh my god, I... Ruby, go away, seriously, I'm trying to save the universe or some shit. Okay. Ooh, lots of money. Any more side missions? No. Alright, any side missions over here? Let's jump in this water, I bet it's sacred. Yes, let's ruin your... Your sacred water. Ha ha ha. I'm a douche with a capital D. Douchebaggery. Alright. Anything? Nope. Now, the shop that we need to go to is actually down here. It's here. Hi, India look kind of funny with their ears. I keep wanting to call them Inte because hi, Intia. Hi, Inte. Inte's high. A picture of Inte smoking a big old thing of weed. He probably just put it near his nose and it just catch on fire. That's kind of cool. Hovering Reef. Whoa, what's with all the lightning? You guys just imprisoned me like not even 10 seconds ago. And now you're like, oh, thanks for doing this job that I'm supposed to do. But I don't really want to because, well, you know, cramps and, you know, just these wings. They're just... I just get wing cramps. Please understand. Yes. My gosh, just lay the side missions down on me, buddy. Okay, is that it? Oh my... You got more? Nope, you're done. Good. Alright. I think that's enough side mission grabbing for now. But anyways, the store's down here. I want to definitely buy some... First thing I want to do, though, before I actually buy weapons for the character, is buy any books. I always like to buy the art books first. Yep, definitely want to get that. Um, nah, yes, Starlight Kick. I don't know who that's for, but I might as well... Oh, this is for Melia. Nah. And Summon Copy, yes, that's good. Okay. Well, this... No, nope, doesn't look like that's better of a weapon for Ryan. No, nope, not that bit of a weapon. No. Nope. Man, that, okay, but definitely some good new equipment. So let's see, we got sky cap, good. What about you? Um, no, you seem okay. Let's, hmm, let's get this for you. I will get one of these for um, Melia, and then we will get you that, and then you can. Actually, you seem okay with what you got. Okay, I gotta keep choking his funny pants. Okay, nothing good, nothing good, and. 
we'll get you the sky top because I think that'll be a okay. Um, let's get you these gloves. How about you? Ooh, those are. I should definitely get those for dumb bad. Can I get some for Ricky? Uh, well, well, what does he have on? Uh, I think I'll buy some for Ricky. Those two. Okay. Um, pants. Buy some pants for him. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. All right. Shoes. Okay. I. Uh, I'll equip all this stuff on later, just because I'm gonna have to go through it all and make sure I equip the right stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff. Oh nope. I need the shoes. All right, shoes. Um, let's get you these. Okay, I keep changing it by accident. Let's get you these. Let's get you. Let's get you the hover shoes. Why not? That sounds tight. And let's let's leave what you got on. Okay, now real quick, let's go ahead and leave this place just to make sure that no cut any cutscene that wants to activate can activate when we leave. Oh, woo! Whoop! Like the jump between the two. All right, come on. Where is it? Come on, guys, keep up. Man, we went flying there. Well, actually, there will be a place later on where you fly across the level, sliding down um, this hill. Well, it's more like a cylinder thing with ice in it, but it's really cool nonetheless. Alright. Let's head on out. It doesn't look like side missions are going to start, which is good. Let's see, where would the side... Where would it... Okay, so where we need to go is all the way over there. And it doesn't look like any time. Okay, so you know what? Um, I'm gonna end the video here. So this is video on Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue to play more Xenoblade Chronicles and hopefully can help the high end in the next part. Okay, bye then.